Hello and welcome back to C2 Marble Race 150. So we left off with Sunset moving on to the semifinals after he conquered his seven opponents in Group C in the last video. Now this is the final video of Round 1 which is Group D. So which is you know known as Yellow Group or Heat D whatever you want to call it but you know it also coordinates with its yellow color. So all eight of the marbles you see here are from the redemption qualification race which you know specifically is for those who lost in the previous three qualification races and were given a second chance in the fourth and final one so the ones who made it to redeem themselves from their failures to qualify for this race are crystal tiger shark brown swirl cat's eye blue golden viper clear rainbow swirl cat's eye yellow and of course we have is coral so rules are the same as the last three videos so there's no need to go over that again we're speaking of the rules they will finally be gone over once we get to the semi-finals well for just the semi-finals specifically while well, the grand finale will also have a different rule set so yeah we're almost to the end of the saga as part five will be the semi-finals along with the third place round if you're wondering and part six is obviously the grand finale which you all know the drill when the the next two videos are going to play out but before we begin group d will be using this track and it's from chapter two season six of course it's similar to the chapter two season six track except with like i said a couple of modifications with a few clear pieces some parts from the gold marble racer set like the Three flat funnels, the Galt Marble Racer finishing podium, and of course the Galt Marble Racer starting gate. So, other than that, it is similar to the Chapter 2 Season 6 track with a couple of upgrades along the way. So, anyways, without further ado, we are going to end the first round with Group D right now. Match 1. Alright, we are now in the first funnel. And yes, the three normal funnels are flat, so there's going to be some intensity. Unless he's going to take the lead, it's Coral. He's going to make his way to the split funnel first. Ooh, it's intent on that first funnel still. Unless he's going to be currently last, it's Cat's Eye Yellow. So can he catch up? Ooh, we have three marbles already in the second funnel. You know, specifically the second flat funnel, I like to call it as, of course. And Golden Viper will be taking the lead as he makes his way to the final funnel. Yes, the real second funnel is the split funnel. Third funnel would actually be the second flat funnel. And then the fourth funnel would be the final third funnel. Or simply the final funnel, you know. Anyways, we are going to see who will be the first to be eliminated. Ooh, Tiger Shark was stuck, but he got freed by Crystal. Who will move on to the next match? It's gonna be Tiger Shark. And sadly for Crystal, she will be eliminated. The first to be out in the final group. Now let's move on to the next match with seven marbles remaining. Second match of Group D. Letty is going to be taking the lead out of this first funnel. It's Golden Viper. He's going to make his way to the split funnel first. And let's see who will be last place in it. Clear Rainbow Swirl. Oh boy, Clear Rainbow Swirl is on the brink at the moment. Let's see if he can catch up before it's too late. Golden Viper still keeps his lead, by the way. Now he's making his way, making his way to the final funnel with Tiger Shark, of course. You can see Clear Rainbow Swirl's de desperate attempts to catch up. My apologies for a few line flops here and there, but it looks like Clear Rainbow Swirl is spending too much time, unfortunately, because already Brown Swirl is going to finish. Oh wait, 
I almost forgot. Someone was stuck and it's Cat's Eye Blue. But he sacrificed himself to free Cat's Eye Blue. Wow. All that catch up was worth for nothing leading to that DNF. Wow. You tried your hardest, but unfortunately it's time for you to go. Wow. But of course, Clear and Muscle did try his best to catch up until he DNF'd. Now it's down to six marbles. Alright, we are now in the third match. And man, I gotta feel sorry for Clear Rainbow Swirl in the last match, of course, because he had to DNF slash sacrifice himself to free Cat's Eye Blue to let him finish the race. Wow. That was a forced sacrifice slash DNF from Clear Rainbow Swirl in order to let Cat's Eye Blue be free. Wow. Speaking of which, Cat's Eye Blue is currently last, but let's see he has hopes to catch up. Tiger Shark is currently in the lead as he's now in the final funnel. Ooh, look at Cat's Eye Blue, he caught up, so which means now Brown Swirl is last place. And now we've made it to our second DNF in a row, yet again. And this time it's Brown Swirl as he got stuck on the final flat funnel, so therefore he's out via DNF. So it's now down to these five. But like I said, it's still anybody's game. Golden Viper in the lead once again. And let's see who's going to be last. It's Tiger Shark. You better catch up before it's too late. Golden Viper still maintains his lead into the second flat funnel, aka the third funnel overall. Cat's Eye Blue got stuck again, so he has to be freed by Tiger Shark. Alright. Who will move on? Who is gonna move on? It's Tiger Shark, so Cat's Eye Blue is out. But yeah, kudos to Cat's Eye Blue for being freed by Plea Ring the Swirl a few matches ago, as you can see. Yeah, I guess at this point, these two should be best friends because of, you know, that that coexisting, I, I think coexisting would make up for a good turn, but yeah. Anyways, we have made it to our final four. Currently in the lead is Coral. And currently last is Golden Viper. Man, Golden Viper was doing so good. Now he's last. Let's see if he has hopes to catch up. Tiger Shark got stuck, so he has to be freed by Golden Viper. Alright, with Kata Yellow finished, we are now down to these two. Who will move on? 
It's Golden Viper. So Tiger Shark is out. Wow, I was not expecting that from Golden Viper. So it's down to him, Kata, Yellow, and Coral. Very close. Golden Viper is going to take the lead. And Coral will be last. We're also third too. Ooh, that catch up by Coral though. It's very close. But Coral said nope to Coral's catch up. As he makes his way to the final funnel first. Oh, it's very close between Coral and Kata Yellow. But Kata Yellow surpasses Coral into the final funnel first. Oh, look at Coral. He DNF'd. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, no. Another DNF. So now it's just down to Golden Viper and Kata Yellow, who will be the last to move on to the semifinals. Last match of Group D, who will move on to the semifinals, which oddly enough, this is a rematch of the 14th Marvel Duel that I posted a while ago, which is these two going up against each other again. Will Golden Viper keep his winning ways against Kata Yellow, or will Kata Yellow redeem himself and conquer against Golden Viper to take the final semi-final spot. Let's find out immediately. Oh boy, what's up with my focus right now? Golden Viper is going to take the lead. He's going to make his way to the split funnel first. Cat's Eye Yellow is currently last. But like I said, will Cat's Eye Yellow score his revenge against Golden Viper or will Golden Viper keep on prevailing against him? Golden Viper still keeps the lead. It's very close and intense. Oh, that body check. Very close. And Cat's Eye Yellow gets his revenge on Golden Viper from Marble Race Duel of, or 14. <laughs> Sorry about that line flub, which I meant to say Marble Race Duel 14. But yeah, it's due to the fact that it's been a while since I had a Marble Duel. But, you know... But anyways, Kata Yellow will be moving on to the semi-finals. Sorry, Golden Viper, but your time has finally been up. So Kata Yellow got his revenge on Golden Viper in this 1v1. And now he is the final marble to move on to the semi-finals. With Kata Yellow conquering against his seven group D contenders. We have officially set up the semi-finals on what it's going to look like, which consists of Solid Blue, Shiny Black, Sunset, and Cat's Eye Yellow. And it's kind of funny that we have two solids and two clear swirls competing in this one, which kind of makes things even, even though it's going to be a free-for-all. And of course, I'll go over what those white bricks are in the next video. So yeah, because you know I don't have time to go over all that. I'll detail what those white bricks are as well as the rules for the semifinals in the next video so definitely stay tuned for that one so now let's sign out so hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a big thumbs up to share support feel free to follow all my socials down below and subscribe that notification bell enabled and also like i said stay tuned for the semifinals as well as the third place round to go with it so yep so anyways, that's going to be about it. Hope you enjoyed and have a good day.